Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101, where today I'm going to cover our subject line A-B testing tool. This is another growth tool that we've introduced to the platform uh, to help users improve their open rates and performance over time. Believe it or not, the difference between a 35% open rate and a 40% open rate can be as simple as uh, just a better subject line. When readers are scrolling through the inbox, the subject line of an email is the first indicator that will make a difference in whether they decide to open the message and then obviously you know, take in the content and click through it. But it's impossible to know for sure which subject line is going to lead to the most opens until this tool. With A-B testing, you can now test multiple subject lines, two on our grow plan and up to four on our scale inter enterprise plans to optimize the performance of your emails. The way that you access this tool, under right, we're going to go to posts. I've created a draft, so we'll jump into the draft and go to edit. Under email settings, we'll have the typical subject line. And then if you check the create A-B test button, this mo uh, section will pop up that'll allow you to add uh, a second subject line or if you're on the higher plans, uh, multiple subject lines. So essentially, once these are created, you would basically go and you'd write the rest of your email, get it ready to send. And when you send, uh, on the grow plan, uh, you would have 20% of your audience receive the test and the test duration uh, defaults to three hours. And so what this means is if you want to send at nine, you want to start sending your test at six. If you want to send it, if you want your whole list to receive the message at noon, you want to start sending at nine. Uh, but the mechanism, the way it works, uh, when you press send, whichever time it starts that test period, we'll send half of that sample size, the subject line A, and half of the subject line, or half of the audience subject line B. We monitor, and I'll show you in a second, you know, the interface where we show you the results. We monitor the results of the open rate of each subject line. And after that test period, we then send the winning subject line, the one with the most opens or the one with the statistically significant result. Uh, we send the winning variant to the rest of your list. And we show you the results to see the improvement that you can have by sending both messages. So if we go over here. And we go to a post. I was going to show you the one that we sent this morning. So if we go to A-B test, this is the interface. This is the results of our test. We sent, uh, in this case, you know, we were able to customize the sample percentage and the duration. That's a feature of the scale and enterprise plans that you can change those percentages. But uh, we launched the test to 1,500 recipients for each variant. Uh, this subject line had 334 opens, representing a 22% open rate. Uh, and this variant had 276 opens, which translates to a 17.9% open rate. So we are statistically confident that this subject line is going to produce a higher result. Now, you might look at the 22%. Of course, our open rate is much higher than that when you look at past uh, you know, posts. If we look at um, things like this, we're usually in the 40 to 50% range. You might ask, why is it now so low if you know we're trying to optimize? Well, Basically, uh, what we looked at was that kind of has to do with the testing duration. So when you when you run uh, you know a test, obviously this isn't going to have that long you know 24 hour period for everyone to open the email. So when you run these tests, you should expect to have a slightly lower open rate than your overall list um, for the test period. But um, we chose the three hour time period as the default because that's when um, we're going to have kind of the the largest bulk of um, users open, and then of course the rest of the opens come throughout the day. So that's totally normal. Um, the other thing to note is that when you are looking at the email, as soon as the duration ends, that's when the main uh, email is sent. But of course, uh, analytics do take time to populate. So if you don't see the uh, results, you know, at you know three hours and one minute, there's nothing you know wrong. It's basically uh, you know we're we're compiling the data for you. So. Um, just two small heads up, but essentially then the rest of the email, the email went out to the rest of the list. If we look in here, we can now see that it was sent to the other 9,000 people in the list and that open rate is slowly climbing and, you know, we'll expect it to, to get to that normal average or above um, by the end of the day. So there you have it. That's the A-B testing tool. Um, in recap, it's available on our grow and scale plans. You can use it to optimize your subject lines to improve content. Um, we'll be releasing some content 
you know, in the form of articles and, you know, some future videos that can uh, kind of share how to go about optimizing subject lines. But just as a crash course, um, you know, there's, there's a couple different ways to do it. The way that we recommend is to think of kind of abstractly different archetypes. And so you can do some, some research on this, but, you know, there, everyone's seen kind of the clickbaity archetype versus, you know, a very uh, literal archetype. So something could be like, you wouldn't believe um, this new feature that we have. And then another version could be, you know, uh, subject line A-B testing is here. Those are two very distinct types of subject lines. And that's generally where you're going to see the biggest results. If you can kind of come up with different types of angles, because then what you can do is over time, you can say, okay, for our audience, the very literal subject line works way better than something that's clickbaity. Or, you know, if you want to, some publications might use subject lines that are very short, maybe one or two words. Um, You could test one or two words, kind of that very condensed, concise subject line um, versus something that's a bit longer. Um, but, you know, look out for content in the future. We'll be, we'll be writing, um, extensively on, uh, you know, how you can go about setting up different tests in terms of the actual copywriting of your AB of your subject lines. Um, but in the meantime, this is a great way to get started and, uh, testing which ones are going to resonate most with your audience. Thank you so much for your time. Really hope you appreciate it or you enjoyed this. And uh, we appreciate uh, your, your time with Beehive and we look forward to seeing what you build. Have a great day.